Hey guys, welcome to your July general reading. Um, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising. Let's see what we have. Uh, I'm starting with the camera faced up because I want to give a personal thank you to all those who emailed me, offered condolences, um, was patient with me <laughs> in this time here. Um, and really, you know, allowed me to grieve and kept my spirits high. Um, you was all absolutely wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you for the likes, shares, subscribes, comments, any kind words, reaching out to me. Um, I really appreciated it. It really kept me, my vibrations up. So thank you very much. Um, if you want a personal reading with me, my email's in the description as always. So, without further ado, let's get to the cards. Forget about me. And what we have here is... Lots and lots of cards. <laughs> they always jump straight out for Scorpios. It's like we want to know and we don't want to know so it jumps out so quickly <laughs> and first card out was the lovers so this is um, a divine connection that you have coming in for you here and I feel like right about now most of you are in some you know in a turmoil in a conflict about whether this connection is divine or not I feel like it's probably been some time and you're questioning it. And we have the Ten of Wands. So I feel like for some, they've they've still been carrying this burden. We've gone from the Five of Wands to the Ten of Wands. So I feel like you may have accepted this is divine and then gone through a period of questioning it within yourself here. And we have the King of Cups and it mirrors the uh, lovers here and I feel like um, letting go of this burden and healing this relationship is what on the what's on the cards but I'm a little bit worried about the nine of swords and the five of wands I feel like for some they may have slipped backwards and sort of be carrying the burden again and starting to go into the um, overthinking again and being very stressful um, but what we have is the wheel card and it's telling you just hold on, don't, you know, continue to heal, continue on your path here, don't question it. Um, I know some of you will be like, I'm not questioning it, I know it's divine, but I feel like you're questioning when is the offer coming and it's coming, just hold on, hold on. The tens are endings, but here I feel like this is very strongly saying um, this happily reunion um is coming here just hold on it's coming and i say that because it comes after the wheel of fortune and after the ace of wands and i feel like um this is jupiter now saying i know you had to wait a little bit but here it is this is your reward for patience this is your reward for learning the lessons here Having going through these dark nights here, this nine of swords, having going through this dark night, having faced the healing, you know, having faith, having trust that this connection, everything that happened, happened for a reason. Now here's your reward. Here's your karmic reward, I feel. Out of the dark into the light. Because you take everybody through this dark night. So it's now your turn to have this happiness. I feel like the King of Cups is um, just immense healing that you've been going through. And the Ten of Wands to me is showing me more as um, a road travelled. It's your path. For some, it, you are still carrying the burden if you've just come into this. I feel for some you are still like questioning. For some of you who have been on this journey a little bit longer, you may have um, been trusting the connection, but then 
I feel like with the five of wands, um, a little bit of self-doubt might have crept in because the last couple of months, you know, um, Jupiter hasn't been giving us that umph again. So I feel like here it comes now. Like for Scorpios, I feel like straight out of the dark, it's like coming out of the pitch black into the bright sun, I feel here. I feel that's what's coming for Scorpios now. Um, during this um, retrograde, when Mars starts to retrograde, because Mars is one of our rulers, one of our planetary rulers, um, it's going to be a lot easier on Scorpios. This whole year was supposed to be, you know, a lot easier on Scorpios. Um, but here comes Jupiter again. Um, and I feel like, again, it's going to start pushing here good fortune on Scorpios, um, offers coming in from all angles, I feel like it will be everything, but I feel like it's a major healing of love here, because we have the lovers, the king of cups, and the ten of cups, I feel like this is a major love reward here, <laughs> I think um, these cards just came out for me, <laughs> I'm a Scorpio and um, yeah, I always get the unknown card, so I always laugh. Um, but I feel like it's because we're like this, we're like the high priestess and we want to know everything. When there's something we don't know, I, I feel like we go a little bit um, insane and this is what happens. We start questioning because we're so used to picking up on everybody's energies so easily. What I feel like, you know, that little bit of cut off the last month or so, I feel like it may have made some feel, um, you know, unsure of what something that we're usually so sure of, something we usually have all the answers to. Like when we can read other people so well in the high priestess energy, I feel like the unknown really affected us here and it brought around like um, the nine of swords energy where we're not sleeping, um, you know, anxiety, stress here, definitely uh, accompanied by the ten of wands and five of wands and nine of wands is stress. But after the ten of wands, when we let go of the burden, comes the ace of wands, comes the offer and this is what Jupiter now wants to tell you with the Wheel of Fortune here. Things are now going to start going your way. It's destined with the High Priestess that things now start to go your way. And I feel like this will be to do with love. I feel immensely like this is to do with love. I feel like it's your reward now after, after you know, leading people. You know, setting the way for people over and over again, carrying this burden. It's now time for your reward here. I see this um, Ten of Wands like this. Recognition. Recognition for all the work that you do in the Zodiac, that now is the time for um, your reward. A very divine connection. An offer is coming in. Let's pull some romance angels for us Scorpios. Don't get, um, you know, tripped at the last hurdle with this Nine of Swords and Five of Wands energy. After all the work and effort you've put in, don't get tripped at the last hurdle. Your energies and vibrations, I feel like if you've been in this a long time, are very high because you're showing up as the King of Cups. And I feel this is um, us Scorpios having gone through the healing. So I feel, I feel more that this is for people um, who have maybe been going through things since maybe a year ago or, you know, nine months ago with the Nine of Swords here, ten months ago. Um, even if you were going through this for the last five months and you're in, you know, the Nine of Swords energy and the Five of Wands where you're questioning, is this real? 
you know, am I going crazy? Like, why can't I sleep? Why am I fe feeling this? Why am I seeing all the signs? I feel like you you are now as well going to get shown um, some synchronicities to help you see that it is a divine connection here. I, I, everywhere I go, I keep hearing that song that's saying, if it's meant to be, it will be. Baby, just let it be. Everywhere I go, I keep hearing that and I'm like, okay, I get it. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Stop playing these songs everywhere I go. You're making me feel crazy. Look at that at the bottom. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. I, I feel like that's what we're going to be doing here. Wedding. <laughs> this situation involves a marriage. I feel like this is a very divine connection where you are spiritually married to this person. I feel like this may be even an offer of marriage coming in for some. Make the effort. Under the bottom here, we have engagement now. So that's because I took out the give your relationship a chance card. Um, so we have engagement and wedding. So I feel like this is people coming back together, having going through a soul lesson. These people will turn into life partners. Make the effort says, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So I feel like those of you who have been guided along this path on the Ten of Wands here and realise the burden is not all yours to carry, realise that the Nine of Swords energy isn't serving you any good and to, you know, free yourself from these energies and heal in the King of Cups energy. The steps that you need to take are healing steps for yourself. You don't need to take steps towards another person. They will come in when the time is right. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. And that's exactly what I was saying. Those of you who have been working on this, um, this is what's coming in for you. You had the faith, you, you know, you really put the work in, into yourself. It's not about putting the work into somebody else. It, yes, it is about healing a connection, but you have to heal yourself first. So those of you who trusted and laid down the burden, realizing that it's not letting go of that other person, but realizing the burden is not yours to carry alone, you will be rewarded with the wheel of fortune here finances and career. I feel like this is just an extra confirmation that the rewards are going to be all across the board. It's going to be within your career, within your finances, within your love life, within friendships, within family here with the Ten of Cups. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present. <coughs> Excuse me. And I feel that is just confirmation here of the learning experience that you've been through. So this will be for people who have just been through these soul lessons and this death and rebirth here. You are now about to experience some real positivity in every aspect of your life across the board here, Scorpios. This is a wonderful reading for us. I'm so happy, like, you know, like, ha when we watch Scorpio readings, they are... 11 months out of the year, you know, hideous. <laughs> but this year, we're getting a lot and lot more positive readings. And that's with Jupiter and Mars and everything. All the planetary alignment and now coming in the rewards of karma for us. Not just the karmic debt, not just leading people into death. Everything now, like we're being seen, we're being rewarded. This is recognition from the universe, from the divine. Good luck, guys. If you want to email me for a more personalized reading, please do. Bye.